To a PC gamer, the mouse has to be one of the most personal and important devices around. And today, I get to review basically what I use daily. Good afternoon, morning. welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4Piece Warranty, or get triple XL. And we have the Pulsefire Haste Wireless from HyperX. And I daily drive this. I use the wired version every day of my life and I've, I absolutely fell in love with this thing. And it helps me hit the best shot that I've ever hit in any FPS game in my life. So yes, I very much love this mouse and now it comes in a wireless version. It, the wired version is a whole 59 grams and the wireless has been increased by two grams, 61 grams wireless making it one of the lightest mice around it does have the hexagonal um you know beehive grid drilled out into it which might be a, a deal breaker for some but as far as performance goes and what's in the box it very much checks all of the boxes that we want to see so let's start there you get obviously the obligatory manuals and the rest of it but what you also get is a very nice set of extras including a full set of ptfe feet and then some grip tape if that's your preference so that you can put it down the left hand side your right hand side and on the two individual clicks the included cable and adapter bracket is all nicely branded with hyperx as well with that tiny little 2.4 gigahertz dongle which then does tuck into the bottom of the mouse as well so if you're on the go with it then it's got a nice little storage space so you won't lose it which we trip and love the one thing though is that it's so tight in there you might want to take the cable with you just to pry it out of there it was about the only way i could get it out of there there's like a little recess as you can see behind it for you to pull it out but it it's it once it's in there it's in there there are two little metal prongs inside of here which are variably impossible to build but they are inside of there and they do hold on to that so it's never going to come out of there by itself there's i i will guarantee you that there's no amount of shaking on planet earth that is going to pry that out of there uh, uh, let me tell you that a nice thing with this connecting block as well is it's got this little rubberized rim around the bottom so it's not going to slip around on the table and the very flexible braided cable it's just that it's just a flexible braided type c cable so if you ever break it or something like that then it's going to be quite easy to replace everything that we want to see in general from a mouse now the shape of this is very specific it's ambidextrous and the reason that i fell in love with it is because i grew up on the a4 tech x7 which some of you might know if you are very very old like me as a gamer um yes <laughs> i was there i was there when optical mouse became a thing i started on a bull mouse and the a4 tech x7 was just a very good bang for buck gaming mouse back in the day very reliable very good performance from the sensor so this is exactly the same kind of idea uh, that they're bringing through to our pals fire haste taking a closer look at that shape if you look at it from the front you're going to notice two nice grooves over there for the left and right click a nice spacer in between them for the scroll the very nice rubber eye scroll that it is and then obviously behind that is the dpi button at the very bottom of that front you'll see the top c input which you'll be using for charging uh, and not all that often to be honest looking on the left hand side you'll see the two perfectly positioned the thumb buttons on the right hand side it's basically the same just without the thumb buttons and then from the rear you'll notice how broad this is for an ambidextrous device Device. it's very very good fit inside of the hand and it just makes sweeping a left to right for me feel really really good and it's enhanced by those ptfe feet if we look around the bottom you'll see them on all four corners and they're quite raised compared to the rest of the mouse so i'm not too worried about that it would be nice to have a sensor hole cover over there especially because you'll probably never remove it but it is nice that these are fat enough that it actually lifts it up off of the surface for software, you've got Ingenuity. It's very basic and straightforward, and that's perfectly fine. It does give you lift-off distance modification and a battery meter, which is in percentages, which is very, very useful to have. As far as battery goes, charging and using this, they quote up to 100 hours, and it's very realistic. After an hour of use, it didn't even drop 1%. 
So that makes me think it's going to last uh, up to 100 hours is very uh, accurate. And as far as charging goes, it does fast charge from a low battery percentage. So I took it all the way down to 17% and then gave it a quick charge to see how fast it would charge. And under an hour, it was already at 58% again. So it's going to, and it and a noticeably fast charge at more than a percent a minute for the first 15 minutes. It gave me about 30% off of the quick charge. So if you're just gonna connect it for a couple minutes, carry on gaming and then plug it in again overnight, you'll be covered over there. So the battery performance is good. Wireless performance was pretty good. Not uber long range, but more than enough. If the dongle is anywhere near your vicinity, I would say probably about a two meter kind of range. You're gonna be fine. You're not gonna have any loss of this performance. And like I said, the performance from this, even though it's a 3335, which is a little bit of an older Pixar sensor, 16,000 DPI capable on this, it's more than enough. Most of us scale between 400 and 2000 for FPS gaming. And so it's right in that bracket. Now, the price point on this, considering its spec, is very competitive. A lot of the other premium brands chart that come with this kind of amount of extras and nice little bits and pieces usually charge in the region of two and a half to say even up to 3000 Rand. So this for 2000 bucks is very, very competitive and I don't want to spend money, although I would like a wireless version of the mouse that I use every day. It's incredible. Now, a big thing that is actually between the, the wired and the wireless is the wireless has a very matte kind of finish, almost like sandblasted is the best way I could, I could describe it to you is how it feels. It's actually quite rough, whereas the wired version is smoother. And this was a deal breaker, as I said in a previous review earlier, maybe last week or the week before, a very, very um, long-term gaming friend of mine and someone that's been on a very high professional level said that that was a deal breaker for him. And he literally shelved a 2,800 Rand mouse and went for the wired version just because of the texture. So just be aware that is there, maybe it's a deal breaker for you. I'm always learning new things about what's important to you guys. Um, but yeah, the, it's, it's exactly the same as, like I say, my daily driver. So I particularly like it. If the shape is good for you, then it's gonna be really good for you. Little audio test for the buttons. They're pretty crispy and very even as, as far as their feeling goes. In general, I just love this mask. I've got nothing but good things to say about it. And now that it comes in a wireless package, it should be all that more tempting. If you grew up on an ambidextrous design and that's what you like, then this is gonna be right up your alley. And the weight, 61 grams. It's literally air, mate. Anywho, that is all I have for you on the HyperX. Pulsefire Haste Wireless Edition. If you have enjoyed this review, please let us up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side.